In this box right here is a mini crossbow and in this video we're going to be using it to go turkey hunting and I even got the scope cam on so we can get some awesome footage of the hunt. Okay guys, so I've actually wanted this mini crossbow for like a few months now. So I reached out to William Tell Archery and asked if they'd want to send one in for me to do a turkey hunting video and they were like, sure. So they sent one in. I'm really excited because this it's supposed to be like the fastest pistol mini crossbow thing, I guess. And these arrows are super thin. They're like not normal arrows, but they even got these little broadheads on. You can put normal broadheads on these like for deer hunting. These are super small. I'm, I live in Ohio. I'm not sure the legal size limit on, is on broadheads, but, but I think these would be good for like raccoons and squirrels and stuff like that. But I'm gonna put normal size broadheads on for these turkeys we're going after. And here's the actual crossbow. Look how tiny this thing is. It's so small. I have to put this together a little bit, but this is a handle that goes like right here. I have to have a buttstock to be able to hunt with a crossbow in Ohio for some reason. So yeah, you have to get that version if you live in Ohio. Get the buttstock with this thing on. I'm gonna have to put this together. I'll see you guys when it's together right now. Okay, and here it is all to put together. I haven't put my scope on this. It's not a crossbow scope, but it's pretty big. So here's how you cock this thing. There's this little thing on the back that you just pull. Yeah, and you just let it go, and it just comes back. I wish all crossbows were like that. And then I'm gonna put this little practice tip, practice arrow in there. Yeah, it does have a safety too right here. Now it's ready to shoot. Look how compact that is. If this thing kills turkeys, this is gonna be like my number one turkey hunting thing. I'm only about 10 yards away, so I wanna be able to make sure I can at least hit this thing. So here we go, first shot with it. Buried itself pretty deep in the target, that much. Okay, I'm gonna do some practice with this for a little bit and just get it sighted in, see how good we can get the groups. Okay, here's a preview of what it's gonna look like when I shoot at a turkey. Dead. I was aiming at this dot right here, so I'd say that's pretty much sighted in. So it's actually not even turkey season yet. There's still like a month left before season actually starts. But I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys this and get some practice in. Of course, I'll be practicing with the broadheads before I actually go turkey hunting and make sure those are sighted in. But I guess I'll see you guys when turkey season starts. Okay, guys, it's 5.50 in the morning, opening day. I'm really excited. It's been raining all night. It's still raining now. We're still going to go hunting, but I don't know if... We probably won't hear any gobbles today, but I don't know. Let's go hunting. It stopped raining, so we might have a chance of hearing a gobble. There's my blind, and there's my decoys. Got the funky chicken decoy right there, and a hen decoy. I was a little worried the funky chicken decoy wouldn't work last year, but I set it out, and literally, like, a couple jakes came and destroyed the turkey decoy. It was crazy. Did you guys hear that? Right behind me. There's actually a story with this turkey I'm hunting here. I don't know if he's still alive, but I think he is. But it's been like five years trying to hunt this turkey. I'm not even joking. But if it's the same one that's alive, he's the smartest bird I've ever seen in my life. He's been shot at before by other hunters here last year. I was trying to get him, there he's again. I was trying to get him last year, and these two guys shot at the bird. But they didn't get him. He's still, he was still alive last year. I called him into my decoys one time, and that was two years ago with all those jakes, if you remember that video. But he was smart enough to stay out there about 20 yards away past my shooting range because I was using a recurve. He's been through this plenty of times. He knows what's going on. If this funky chicken brings him in, bro, it's going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. It's really far away. Yeah, that's a turkey. Okay, so here's what's happened so far. I've heard a gobble that way. The turkey that was over there, I've heard him gobble like two or three times. The one that was over there with the hen, he was making his way over here, he's getting closer. And the hen is right there. She came out of the field. So the gobbler's gotta be right behind her somewhere. Literally right after I said that. He's looking at him, cautiously making his way over here. Sometimes turkeys will hang up when they see the decoys. 
That's what he's doing right now. I don't know if he's going to come over, but he's just slowly making his way over here. Dang it. Okay, so first thing, I did miss the turkey. I am kind of proud of myself though for being able to call that turkey all the way back to here within shooting range, or at least in shotgun range. Not gonna lie, that was probably a 30 yard shot. I had my crossbow zero to 10 yards. I went for the shot anyways, I lost my arrow. I probably deserve that for trying to take that shot. But for now on, I'm only taking shots if they come in to the decoys. I aimed a little bit over, but I kind of pulled it. I feel like it would have hit him if I had the crosshairs like right over his head. I don't know why I did that. So I'm just gonna quit hunting for the rest of the day. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We're gonna try a different spot out tomorrow morning. Okay, there's my blind where I'll be hunting tomorrow. And there's a gobbler. You can see the beard. There's a hen and there's a strutting one right there. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have some turkeys there tomorrow. So the next day, accidentally slept in but i think the birds are still going to be roosted right now got the two decoys right there i know they're in here they're just being silent today hopefully they'll just come out into this field and start strutting around or whatever i don't know if they're going to come over they had to have seen the decoys right here I don't know why they just walk right past me. It makes no sense. They're far away. They're getting further away. Man, what in the world? I don't know why they do that. Just walk right past me. What the heck, man? Why will they not come over? Okay guys, it's two days later. I went turkey hunting yesterday morning. I had one hen come into my decoy sales hit. So I'm at the pasture where I missed that one turkey. I've heard three different turkeys gobble so far. There's one back in there. There's one right behind me. And there's one over there. Also since last time I've been here. Oh, you may have heard that one. I really brushed in my blind really good. Put tons of branches on it so it looks more natural there's like five or six different turkeys gobbling right now like gobbles coming there's like gobbles coming from every direction so I have a gobble call I'm gonna gobble at them and like make them mad I guess I'm just kind of experimenting around. That's basically what I did all year last year is just experiment with different calls. And I never got a bird. Okay, so there's one goblin over there still. But these dumb deer will not go away. I'm trying to scare them so they'll go away because they keep snorting at me. It's so loud, probably scare the turkey. Can't do much. Oh, sweet, there they go. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That one just came right out of there. He walked over there and then just kind of went by. I think he saw me in here. He just came so fast, I couldn't even get ready. I know, I know there's still at least one back there. After watching this turkey see my decoys and just walk right past them, I realized it was going to be harder than I thought to get a turkey with this mini crossbow, especially being out in the open pasture. So I came up with a plan to try and get that smart old pasture turkey I've been going after for the past few years. So I ended up moving into the woods, setting up my blind close to where I knew that turkey roosted every night, and the next morning I went after him. There was actually times the turkey got really close to me, like we almost had him, we were so close. He was just too smart, he wouldn't come into the decoys, he was either decoy shy, I don't know. He just kept getting hung up about 30 yards away. 
Over the past 10 days, I tried everything I could think of to try and get this bird. Different decoys, setting up at different locations, and even hunting in the evening for this turkey, but nothing would work. The turkey was too smart. All right, y'all, so it's been like, I don't know, a week later. I've been hunting pretty much every day. We only have like three days left of season, so if I don't get a turkey here in three days, I'm kind of screwed, but I'm actually at a different woods that you guys haven't seen yet. I've been hunting this woods for a few days now, but just kind of learning the turkeys. So this woods is like the only woods I can find that actually has gobbling gobblers. Turkeys that are actually gobbling. I never actually got any of them on camera, but I, there's a couple times I had them super close. They were gobbling so much, but they wouldn't come in because it's kind of weird, but there's this one hen that stays with these turkeys like all day long. And it's really weird because in late season, all the turkeys are supposed to be separated or something, but it's like all of them are coming back together in a group and they're just like staying together all day. Or I know, I know there's three toms, a couple jakes and at least one hen with them and they wouldn't come in because the single hen was just leading them everywhere for tomorrow i have the breeder hen i made and the funky chicken these turkeys haven't seen the funky chicken yet the first two times i hunted here i also didn't use a blind i just hid in the weeds but i did set up a blind so i don't think the blind was the problem probably the decoys but i'm still going to put them out right here anyways so i'll see you guys tomorrow if this doesn't work I really do not know what else to do. I might just give up. Seriously, this is like impossible. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, it's the last day of turkey season. Yep, called that. There's two, two or three gobblers roosted like, I don't know, 30, 40 yards away from me. I thought for sure they were going to see me when I was getting set up. It's the best idea I've ever had, but I tied some, if these turkeys will ever shut up, I tied some fishing string to one of my decoys to that hen out there. See, watch, watch when I pull this. See, see it move? I'm not, I don't want to move it too much right now because I can only move it a little bit. Yeah, we have a moving decoy now, so. It might come right in with that moving decoy. All right, guys, it's nine o'clock. So the birds flew down the opposite direction, of course. Everything went silent for about when they flew down and in between now. So they just started getting fired up again, gobbling. I've been calling to them a little bit and they've been gobbling. I've been having to call pretty loud. They're pretty far away, but I think they're making their way over here. In nature, the hen is supposed to go to the gobblers. So now I'm just gonna go silent on them and then they'll get curious and hopefully come over here and then see my decoys and then we'll shoot one in the head. Let's see if it works. They didn't like something, obviously. See that dead log right there? I saw one strutting right there. I could hear them spitting and drumming, but I thought for sure they were gonna just come sprinting right in here, tackle this Jake. I know they don't really do that in late season, but it, it sure seemed like they were about to, but then I just heard running and then, then I saw them running that way and then they just kinda ran by past there. So I just finished hunting here for the evening. Turkey season is officially over, sadly. That's two years in a row, zero turkeys. I will be doing some more hunting with this and future videos where I actually get something. So subscribe if you want to see those. I'll see you in the next video.